Hi, I'm Wes. And I'm Brett. And we've got another Nori unboxing. So Brett, why don't you tell them what we got here? We have a smart monitoring kit from Reliability 360. Absolutely. And of course, if you remember, we've done an unboxing for Reliability 360 with the Attend to oil sensor, the, sure. the particle counter that takes the pictures. Really cool technology. Mm -hmm. Now, I see we have two systems here. Can you mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about them? Yeah, absolutely. So when we think about this whole smart monitoring kit, they have taken that same technology in the Attend2 sensor and now put it in its nice little integrated package. Now, one of these is the pump version, which okay. let's say that you have a system that doesn't have any moving oil. Maybe it's a large gearbox. Maybe it's a drum of oil and you're just wanting to test incoming oil. So the pump version draws the oil in, gives it the right flow, the right pressure, everything else, and then spits out the, the information. The regular version doesn't have the pump in it, and this would be for your more traditional applications that you see with sensors. So it's got moving oil, like a circulating system, a pressurized line, something of that nature. True. Now, what kind of data does it track? So we know one of the leading causes of machine failure is contamination. And really the gold standard out there that most people rely on is the particle count. So they send it to a lab, the lab uses usually an optical particle counter, and then it comes with a, a variety of numbers that tells you, you know, how many solid particles are in your oil. Oh, wow. But the issue is there's some weaknesses to that. It gets interferences from air bubbles, from water, from additives, and it doesn't really tell you what those particles are. Well, with the sensors that are inside of here, it can start to remove some of those interferences, but also start to identify where particles. So it now starts to segment those out and say, hey, we're starting to see this much you know, metal inside of here. Here's the wear particles. Here's the shape of them. It helps you really diagnose what may be going on inside your equipment. Saves time for sure, right? Oh, absolutely, right? Because any sensor, right, real-time information, so you get to see it right then and there. It may minimize how many samples you have to take and send off to the lab. And of course, the, the data can go virtually anywhere that we want it to. So it gives us great lead time ahead of that. So we're minimizing downtime, minimizing manpower, make sure that we have the parts, the people, everything that we need to in a nice convenient kit. Now, where is this data being routed to? Okay, so the data, I mean, there's many places where it can go. Now, these do have a local display, you know, a video screen on the front of them, and there's different ways that it can be ran. It can have a continuous mode where it runs all the time, like a real-time sensor. Sure. There's testing modes where, you know, it runs kind of on demand. So the data can be read on the display. It could also go to, there's a USB port on here, so that it could go to a thumb drive. So let's say that you put a thumb drive in it, it goes into the test mode, we collect the data, we take it back to the office or something. Or, like most people do, they, they put it to a wireless gateway, they can shoot it into the cloud. Really what's great about these things is they're, they're pretty agnostic with the data, right? They, they want to give you the data, so they make it very easy for you to figure out where it's gonna be the most convenient for you. So I could be sitting in my house and I can still read this data. Yeah, if, if you put it to a gateway to the cloud and you log onto the dashboard and see, absolutely, no wow. doubt. Now, these are pretty solid systems, can you Tell me a little bit more about them. They're pretty robust, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is an industrial solution, right? So, I mean, this works well on a variety of applications. They're not nearly as susceptible to vibration and changes in orientation and stuff like that that traditional particle counters are. They are a lot more robust, a lot more rigid. They're great, you know, to, to hang on a piece of equipment to a dedicated system. Now, I also know that there is in development some exciting things that are going on that are even going to make it more versatile. Wow, I'm looking forward to what they come up with next. Oh, absolutely. So really great solutions here. So for more information on this or any other product, just visit the link below.